Hello friends, welcome to the virtual lab of 9G plus my tuition app. Let's start activity 27. This activity is based on the chapter introduction to three dimensional geometry. The objective of this activity is to explain the concept of octants by three mutually perpendicular planes in space. Let us see what are the materials to get for performing this activity. We need a piece of plywood, wires, rulers, cutter, colored papers, scissors, wooden board and a wooden rod. Using these materials, let us construct the equipment required for performing this activity. Let's move on to the next step that is method of construction. First, take a piece of plywood and cut three squares of same size from this plywood. Then, take colored papers of three different colors and paste these colored papers on both the sides of these squares like this. Let's consider two of these squares. On each of these squares, let's make cuts from the middle of one side to the center as shown in figure. Then, fix two square sheets in such a way that they intersect orthogonally in the middle of each other. Next, take the third square and cut it into two equal rectangles. Insert one rectangle from one side in the middle, cutting the two orthogonally and the other rectangle from the other side. Here we can say that the space is divided into eight parts. Each part is called an octant. Now, take a wooden board and fix this model on it. In one of the octants, fix rulers to represent x-axis, y-axis and z-axis. Extend each of the axes piercing to the other side to represent xx dash, yy dash and zz dash and mark the point of intersection of xx dash, yy dash and zz dash as the origin O. Here we have constructed the equipment for performing this activity. Now let's see the demonstration. Let's mark the point P of xy on the xy plane. Then fix a road perpendicular to the xy plane and parallel to the z axis. Let's mark the upper tip of the road as P dash of xyz. Then take a wire and join the origin and upper tip of the road. Here the distance of the point P from the origin O is the length OP. The coordinates of the origin O are ordered pair 0, 0 and the coordinates of the point P are ordered pair x, y. So, the length of the line OP is equal to square root of x minus 0 the whole square plus y minus 0 the whole square and that is equal to square root of x square plus y square. That is, the distance from O to P is square root of x square plus y square. Similarly, the length of the road is the distance between the points P and P dash. Now, let's find the length of P P dash. The coordinates of the point P dash are ordered pair X Y Z and the coordinates of the point P are ordered pair X Y. P is a point which lies on the X Y plane. The Z coordinate of any point lying on the X Y plane is 0. So, we can write P of x, y is equal to P of x, y, 0. Therefore, length of the line P, P dash is equal to square root of x minus x the whole square plus y minus y the whole square plus z minus 0 the whole square and that is equal to square root of z square which is equal to z. That is, we got the length of the road fixed perpendicular to the x, y plane as z. Next, Consider the triangle OP P dash. Here P P dash is perpendicular to the X Y plane. That is P P dash is perpendicular to any line lying on the X Y plane. The line OP lies on the X Y plane. So we can say that OP is perpendicular to P P dash. So in triangle OP P dash we have angle OP P dash is equal to 90 degree. That is, triangle OPP dash is a right angle triangle. We have found the length of 
OP and PP dash. Now let's find the length of OP dash. In the figure, the side OP dash is the hypotenuse of the triangle. Therefore, by Pythagoras theorem, we can write OP dash is equal to square root of OP square plus PP dash square, which is equal to square root of root x square plus y square, the whole square plus z square, which is equal to square root of x square plus y square plus z square. That is, we got the distance from the origin to the point P dash as square root of x square plus y square plus z square. Now, let's move on to observation. Here, we fixed the three square sheets in such a way that they are mutually perpendicular. We can consider each square sheet as three planes. Then, we can say that the three planes are intersecting at right angles at a point and they divide the space into eight parts. Each part is called an octant. We got the distance from the origin O to the point P of x, y as square root of x square plus y square. Therefore, the distance of the point ordered pair 5, 4 on the x, y plane from the origin is square root of 5 square plus 4 square and that is equal to root 41. Similarly, we got the distance from the origin O to the point P dash of x, y, z as square root of x square plus y square plus z square. Therefore, the distance of the point ordered pair 3, 2, 1 from the origin is square root of 3 square plus 2 square plus 1 square and that is equal to root 14. The road fixed on the x, y plane is normal to it. That is, we can say that if we fix a wire perpendicular to any of the planes, then it will represent normal to the plane. If two normals are drawn to any two of the planes, then these two normals are perpendicular to each other. Now, we have the conclusion. Through this activity, we could understand the concept of octants. Finally, we have application. This model can be used to visualize the position and coordinates of a point in space and to explain the distance of the origin from a point in the plane or in space. This model can also be used to explain the concept of a normal to a plane. I hope this concept is clear to you. See you in the next video with another interesting activity.